Glasgow. Glasgow, but that's like one of these sort of daft questions where you grow up, it's, it's like, I, the next question would be like, you know, what's your favourite colour? I've been taking pictures for years, basically. Yeah, just after I left the army, you know, I was backpacking for a st stall backpack. And so I started from there, took some pictures. Yeah, I was up in Nepal, and that's where you get grey market imports at the time, so, you know, I get, get a cheap camera there, a DSLR. And then for the last sort of 10, 15 years, I always sort of run about show that should take my camera out at night. It's social documentation really what I do, but I always think it sounds a little bit too much. So it's, a, it's mostly projects I do, and I only kind of shoot the one thing. So I'm not like a street photographer, I just shoot anything. I'm only sort of interested in the one thing, whether it be stags and hens from a Blackpool book or the road wallet, just the taxis. I just keep on the one the one thing. It makes it kind of easier for me. No, I'm, I mostly shoot sort of between sort of like kind of half four and half six. Even even in the middle of the summer, the, the light's behind the buildings then. So you only get to about half six, seven, even at the height of summer. The light's usually a bit softer there, then, you know, the colours come out a bit better. As you can fill it in with a bit of flash. Usually two flash guns I use. It's the top and bottom, so even if they wear a white brim hat, you can fill it in for the bottom. You can sometimes see right in the, the mouse or teeth and that, you know. It's, a, it's like taking a wee mini studio where you, then whatever you get, you've got to take a portrait, you've got a wee mini studio. Yeah, the Harrisburg caused something a star really in Quartan and Saudi Arabia. You can see that I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too popular there. They kind of objected to me photographing them in public, but you know, they're, they're the ones that are kind of like, you know, they're going to put in supercars and lots of bling on and 12 shopping bags, sort of dripping in gold. It started with someone that actually took just the adult pictures and reposted them. But actually then the Doha News done a story on it and some, some other um, Qatari news agencies. Well, I ended up with on. Arabic hashtag and then there would be kind of warnings to Arab shoppers look out for him, you know what I mean? I mean they still do, they take, take pictures of me when I'm out shooting and stuff and some of them saying oh you know God strike him down and chop off his head and stuff like that you know they, then you then you know that you've hurt, hurt a nerve the, the work isn't about wealthy Arabs, it's, it's more about the phenomenon of the wealthy people, about the 1% it's also about the kind of crazy wealth gap the luxury goods and, and fast supercars next door to f food banks. I'm not sort of sneering at them, I'm just sort of shining a light on it, taking pictures of what, what I see. In, in December, when I first, first shot this, the sun would come, bounce off the office block across the road, and it would come and backlight like, like the, the girl going into Harry's through the door. And then I would shoot at such an angle that the flash guns wouldn't um, reflect on the glass of the door. And ever since then, it only then was the door clear, the glass of the whole the whole door clear. Since then, they've always put like some sort of sale poster, so you can't really do the pictures anymore. The kind of reason they go running cars so much is in Dubai, in these places, it's 45 degrees, and they go for one shot mount wherever they go, and it's all air conditioned, and they're in the cars. And they have a culture of cars, plus, plus they don't drink as well. There's some of them are grown men and they're running like one million pound Bugattis. But they just go run and run as if it's a ski electrics track. You know, there's a one called a Le, Le Ferrari or something, you know, it's like um, one, one and a half million Paganis. You know, they, they, they're about one and a half million as well. You know, and then you get one of the old Bentleys and, and Rolls Royce Coupies, drop heads and stuff. Bang, bang, bang. Just got and get them at traffic lights. Poof. 